Energy does not disappear, it transforms itself while remaining available. Our objective is to obtain the most out of energy, finding it where it looks like nothing useful remains, and doing so in the cleanest and most efficient way. The demo SOFC project started from the activities of the Turin Polytechnic and its research on electrochemical processes and fuel cells. We went from a lab and the development of the first few cells to eventually submitting to the European Union the proposal for the biggest plant using solid oxides in Europe. The project is a demonstration, hence the use of DEMO in the name, of the functionality of solid oxide fuel cells. So this is the practical demonstration of the operational functionality of SOFC. Smart is the public company that manages the integrated hydric services, so mains water, sewage and water treatment, for the city of Turin and 288 other towns in the metropolitan area. The plant we see today is one located in Colegno, which gathers the wastewater parts of Turin's suburbs. SMAT is a partner of the Demo SOFC project, which has mostly been financed by the European Union and entails the use of fuel cells for the conversion of biogas into electricity and thermal energy. Before biogas was used in the easiest way, it was being burned in big boilers. In this fashion, heat is retrieved. The ideal way is to produce electricity. What can be done to obtain electricity with biogas, instead of burning it in the furnace, is that it can be burned in an engine, so that instead of only producing heat, you can also produce electricity. The next level is the production of electricity, but with much higher efficiency level, as the electrochemical process is much more efficient than that of a thermal engine, so you can produce it as you would with an electrical engine, but with much higher efficiency, while also producing heat as a byproduct, so the machine produces both electricity and heat, which is used to warm up the muds. The advantages are intrinsic in the physical process of the machine, so that the chemical energy within the gas is directly transformed into an electronic flux without going through a combustion process. This allows for a much more efficient conversion from chemical to electrical compared with a thermal engine. Fuel cells definitely represent the future. It must be considered that hydric service operators operate plants that consume a lot of energy. Therefore, we would always welcome a process that is much more advanced and energy efficient. SMAT already only buys electricity strictly from renewable sources. Being able to reuse the biogas produced to create electricity is thus a big advantage. The results we have obtained from a technical point of view meets and sometimes even surpasses our targets. We have obtained in several workstations levels of electrical efficiency between 52 and 58 percent. In the meantime we have also retrieved heat and therefore managing an overall efficiency level of around 90 percent. All of this with a plant that is not a lab set up anymore. Here we have installed slightly more than 100 kilovolts, so this is already an industrial plant. This is a fully viable system, able to supply enough energy to satisfy the needs of the entire plant. With the solid oxide fuel cells, the results are almost double what is obtained with traditional endothermic combustion methods. From an environmental point of view, given the lack of emissions, the air used in the productive process comes out even cleaner than when it went in. It is a very clean technology. We have measured the quality of the emissions released by the chimney. The quality of the emissions is very high. This plant produces a negligible amount of local pollutants like sulphur and nitrogen oxides, particulates and volatile organic compounds. We have measured directly at the chimney and the levels were below the detection levels of our instruments, which are highly accurate. Therefore, we can say that it does not release these types of substances. We have also analysed the air quality in the area of the chimney. The air we are breathing right now is more polluted than the fumes coming straight out of the chimney. 
The demo SOFC concept can be used in any location where there's a production of biogas, from water treatment centers to plants that treat urban refuse, all the way to plants that treat waste from livestock and agricultural production. Even staying within a niche sector, like with water treatment plants, in Europe we have a potential of installation for around 2.5 gigawatts of power, an enormous quantity. Furthermore, this machine is not limited to biogas. It can function on hydrogen if we want to remain in the realm of green combustibles. Within the fossil fuel area, it can also use natural gas. So if we have energy in either liquid or gas form, this is the technology that can better convert it into electricity. There are no rival systems. The only constraint of this technology is the cost of installation. At the moment there are very few producers of fuel cells. Therefore the prices are not yet competitive with traditional plants with an endothermic engine. The hope is that the manufacturing sector here in Italy as well as globally will see that this technology has not only an economic value but also an environmental one and will gradually increase production thus lowering production costs. The cost is still a gap to surpass. Like with all new technologies, production is still limited, so the models that get produced still have a high individual cost. Once the production scales up, the cost will inevitably go down, as per basic economies of scale principles. The other constraint, even though the performances are high, is that the technology is still undergoing teething process and has some reliability issues, as the machine tends to suffer from a drop in productivity in time. Furthermore, every few years the core of the machine has to be substituted, which is an economic burden. One of the objectives is to increase the operational life of the electrochemical core of the machine. Reducing the degradation of the core and increasing its operational life are two obtainable goals for the next few years. Public entities have a moral and legal duty to spend wisely the money coming from utility bills paid by citizens. So they have a moral obligation to look for the best and most efficient solutions with the lowest environmental impact and fuel cells are one of these solutions. Energy does not disappear. Our task is finding better ways to make it available.